I'll try to get this on your back. There you go. All right, so all the inflatable boards come in a backpack style bag that you can carry to the beach. And this is an electric pump that we're gonna try out too. And uh, yeah, let's take it down to the beach. All right, so everything you need is in this in this one bag, and we're gonna I'm gonna show you now how to how to inflate the board. It's pretty simple, and uh, Marina here is doing it for the first time, and I'm gonna show her how to do it. And uh, you know, you're doing it for the first time too. So I think if we can do it, you can do it too. So I um, so we're gonna just open that bag up, and then uh, dump out all the contents. So. Basically everything you need is in, in there. The, the pump has a um, pressure gauge on it. And um, it's a three-piece paddle that, that goes together. Um, let's wait for Marina. Okay, so actually let's put together the paddle first. So it's a three-piece paddle. Uh, this is the middle piece. And there, one side has just one hole, and one side has several adjustable holes. So we're going to put the single hole on the blade, and the blade snaps in there. And then the handle part goes on the top, and you adjust it to a length where you can comfortably reach over the paddle and have your wrist maybe make it a little bit shorter for you, where you can get your wrist over the paddle easily in the bottom hole for you. There you go, good. We got the paddle. Uh, now the pump has a hose and it has a pressure gauge. So the pressure gauge um, attaches to the pump and on the top of the pump it says inflate or deflate and you put it on the inflate side. So you stick it in and turn it so that it hooks into that um, notch. You have to push it in Push it in pretty hard and then twist it. There you go. Okay. Okay. And then we got the pump ready. We're gonna unroll the board. So this unrolls. There we go. Okay. So now when, when, we defl when we deflate the board, we open the valve. So we have to make sure before we inf reinflate it, the valve has to be, um, you have to push it down and twist it so it pops up. When, it's pop when it pops up, um, that means um, it, lock uh, it, it keeps the pressure in when you take off the valve, uh, the pump. So this valve, if you push it down and twist it, it opens. And if you twist it again, it lifts back up, and then that's the position you want it in to inflate it. Otherwise, the air will just escape if you, um, yeah, there you go. So now the valve is, um, you can pump it up, and it'll stop the air from escaping when you take it off. Okay, so now this pump has this little twist lock, so you um, push it into the valve. So it goes in, and then you twist it till it's tight. There we go. Okay, and now we're ready to pump up the board. So, just um, step on the pump with both feet, and then you push, push it up, and push it down. You have it on the inflate side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So now we just have to pump it up. It takes a little while. Okay, so it takes a little while to pump it up, and even though now the boards look inflated, it still only has about uh, one psi of pressure. So um, to to really make them work well, you have to put in a pretty um, quite a bit of pressure. So we recommend going between 10 and 15 psi, and the higher the pressure, the stiffer and harder the board's going to be. So which is better for performance-wise. So you just have to keep pumping. You get that pressure up and watch that pressure gauge. So basically, right now the pressure is at 2 psi 
and I want to bring it up to like 13 or 14 psi so that that needle has to go all the way up I'm gonna keep just keep pumping until we get there okay so I'm at about 7 7 psi now and the higher the pressure gets on the board the harder you have to push the air in there so as you get higher you really have to lean your body weight into it and try to get it get the pressure to at least at least 10 psi so once you reach 14 15 psi you pop out the pump and then just put this on to keep the air in there but the vent automatically closes the valve so if you're wondering if there's an alternative to pumping it up by hand which is can be a lot of work uh, or if you're feeling a little bit lazy we do have an option there's an electrical pump that can pump up your board quickly and easily um, this one has a battery built into it a pretty high-tech pump and it has like a high volume inflating pump and that automatically switches to a lower volume higher pressure pump and this this pump can get the board up to about 11 psi which is enough to paddle with so we're going to show how to use that so this pump you just have to switch the power on here and it's powered by a built-in battery and then it's set to um, 80 kPa which is about 11 psi and it automatically stops when it reaches that pressure so all you have to do is push the power button and it'll, it'll go So now the, the pump is uh, using a high pressure, I mean a high volume inflating pump, which will inflate the board fairly quickly with a high volume pump. And once it reaches a certain pressure, you'll hear it switching to the high, to a different kind of pump that's um, better at increasing the pressure of the pump, um, of the board. So right now it's showing on the display, we're at about four, four kPa, which is low pressure. And then once it hits a certain pressure, it'll switch to a, a high pressure pump. Now uh, once it uh, hits 80, then it's gonna automatically stop and you can take the valve out and put the cover on. And you don't wanna wait too long because a little bit of the pressure will leak out, um, can leak out. So this, actually the pressure's already going down. Let's push it one more time. So right as soon as it stops, take it off. Okay, now, there we go. Good. Okay, so now we got it at about 11 PSI, which is enough pressure to paddle on. But if you want it um, a little bit stiffer or um, more high pressure, you can add some more by manually with the pump. So you can easily put the fin on, you just slide it in. You don't need any tools. There's a little clip that slides in there. And that's it. Okay, so usually when you roll it up, um, you just roll up the side fins that are um, on the board, inside the, you know, with the board, and they don't get damaged. But if you do want to protect the fins, you can put on for storage, long-term storage or traveling, you can put on these little sleeves that come with the board, and that'll keep the, the fins from getting bent sideways, so they stay on straight and they don't get bent. So, I'm going to show you real quick how to deflate the board when you're done. Um, you just have to open the valve valve cover and then this one, this valve stem, you have to push it down and twist it to lock it down so that'll let the air out. Okay so once you get the air out of the board you have to take out the center fin which is pretty simple. You um, There's like a little tab that you have to push down with a finger and push it out and then push the fin out forward like that. So that removes the center fin and then you can just roll up the board. Okay so now we're ready to roll up the, the board and uh, you just bend, um, yeah, just roll it around that fin box and the air just kind of gets pushed out as you roll it up. So. 
So you roll it all the way up, and then the whole thing just slides right back into its bag. So if you rolled it up tight enough, you can fit the paddle and the pump, everything in there. Take the hose off the pump, stick it in there. And you want to stick the pump and the paddle to the side of the bag, not where your backpack straps are, so that way you can carry it without the paddle sticking in your back. Take the paddle back apart and slide that in there. Yep, just stick it in there. And you can cinch the bag shut and ready to go. The inflatable stand-up boards come, they all come with a little repair kit so they're, they're very durable and strong. It's the same material they use for Zodiacs and boats so it's a very durable material but um, if you do ever puncture it, comes with a kit that has some matching um, patches um, that you can use to fix your board. And just so you can see how strong this fabric is, I'm going to pull this out and just show you um, the material is like very, it's a very thick um, material that's really strong. So um, this is pretty, pretty hard to puncture, but if you do run into a thorn or a nail or something like that that punctures it, it's fairly easy to repair the uh, small uh, hole in, in the plastic. <laughs>